Hello everyone, I'm back for this week's episode and hopefully you're not too tired of hearing my voice on to my high-low buffalo. So for my high, when I was at home, I actually figured out how to make like the coffee shop equivalent of a hojicha and matcha latte. Malata? What am I freaking saying? <laughs> latte and also coffee. I'm actually so exhausted right now. It's just been a long day. But anyways, yes, and coffee. I figured out how to make these drinks so good. I think I only went to one coffee shop the entire time I was at home. And that was crazy because usually I go at least two times a week to a coffee shop to grab some coffee. But it was I was satisfied with the coffee and the drinks I made at home. And... Just for a tip, the milk matters a ton. And also, you don't need an expensive espresso machine to make really good coffee. You can just get like this $6 filter thing on Amazon and it will make your coffee so freaking good. So I'm super happy about that and it saves me a ton of money. And for my low, I've also been applying for jobs, which sucks ass if anyone has done it before. It is not a one week or two week thing. It is months worth of work. And so during the day when I'm working at my current job and after I'm constantly checking job boards and submitting applications and writing cover letters as fast as possible but it's been really insane especially during this time of year for some reason everyone and their mothers is looking for a freaking job and so it's been pretty competitive and for my buffalo i talked about this in one other episode where i actually lost my airpods like a month ago But this time, I lost one AirPod, so one side. I think it was my left side that I lost. And I dropped it when I left from the gym in my car. So I tried to look everywhere for this AirPod in my car, underneath the seats, underneath like the flooring stuff. And I still couldn't find it, so I have no idea where it is. And Find My iPhone says... It's in my house, which makes absolutely no sense because I watched it fall from my case in my car. Anyways, I can find it. And now I only have one AirPod, but I'm kind of being stingy with my money. And I'm telling myself it's fine. I can just listen to my music with one AirPod forever. So I'm not going to buy another one and I'm just going to suck it up. Okay, so for the episode's topic... I tried to keep it not too serious, but it ended up being pretty serious. So these are 15 things that I ended up learning as I grew up. It's just cool to and interesting to point these things out because when you're young, you're so naive and you think the world is one way. And then over time, you become tainted and you just become like this completely different, like domesticated version of yourself. Or maybe these are some things that you haven't even learned yet and you can learn vicariously through me. I literally just fell asleep for 15 minutes after recording that bit. Oh my gosh, I must be getting old or something because I literally could not get through that without taking a nap. Okay. Lessons learned as I've grown up. So the first one, parents and whoever you live with whenever you're born play a huge, huge part in how your life will play out. It's crazy because you don't know this when you're like a little baby or a kid that once you like are born, your parents literally will determine how much money you'll be grown up into the kind of environment and opportunities you have, the clothes you'll wear, the people you hang out with, the food that you'll eat, like everything is decided for you from the moment you come out of the womb. You, when you're young, how much that time period plays into how your brain will form and 
all the habits that you'll make. You'll pick up little things in the way that your parents talk or the habits that they have. And that will unfortunately or fortunately play out very differently for some people. And I know a lot of people who don't like certain parts of their parents and they are telling themselves like, I will never be that way. But I could already see them doing some of the things that their parents do. And it's something that you just can't get yourself out of unless you really, really work at it. Another lesson that I learned as I grew up is that no one really cares about... Oh my god, this one sounds really depressing. No one cares about you more than you care about yourself. You're the only one that has your own back because everyone has to deal with their own selves and their own problems. And as much as we would like to give ourselves and be there for other people... Like, we don't have the capacity, unfortunately. Even as a parent, it's really hard to be there for your kid for everything. As a parent, you have to let your kid go and let your kid grow up and face life themselves because that's the only way that they will learn properly. And I've noticed this a lot of times in different moments in my life where I was going through rough patches, whether it was a mental breakdown or a really rough patch where my mental health wasn't good. And even though my family and my friends cared a lot about me and I would tell some of my family and friends, all they could do is tell me how to make it better or tell me that I'm sorry and I'm here for you. But no one else can go through what I need to go through to get better except myself. The third thing that I learned is that systems are flawed, but they can be changed. This was a huge thing that I learned in college, that there's systems. (laughs) I didn't know that there was this huge thing that controlled a lot of people's lives and made some people's lives really shitty. And the more I thought about it, I learned that even though we like to say that that there's a system that we're trying to fight against that these there's these companies that we're trying to go against these companies and these systems are really just a bunch of people and unfortunately it can be a bunch of people thinking the same way but the wrong way and because of that a lot of people get fucked over but reminding myself that these systems and these companies are just made up of people doing the wrong thing over and over again that's kind of hopeful in a way because it means that it can be changed humans minds can be changed we some people are more stubborn than others but at the end of the day it's not like this fixed non-living thing it's like it's just a bunch of people who make decisions every day to keep the status quo going and if you're able to get more people to break off from that eventually you can dismantle the whole quote-unquote system the company's patterns things like that i also learned this one's a little bit fun (laughs) it's just so random food actually lasts past its expiration date as long as it smells good and it looks fine i've tested it and i can safely say that some foods out there they can go for longer take that as you will i also learned as i grew up that adults aren't actually as smart or aren't in more control of their lives than you are as a little kid i don't know i thought that adults once you turn like 18 21 or something that all of a sudden you're super smart and that you just had insane amount of control over your life. I don't feel like much has changed. I still feel like a little kid in my body, except I just went through a lot more crap. So now I have a little bit of more tools in my pocket, but besides that, I don't feel any different. The sixth thing that I learned is that it's way easier to spend money than to earn money. It's crazy how fast it is that these companies make it so that you can just literally put anything in your cart online and then just buy it. And now on different browsers, you can save your addresses, save your credit cards, whatever, so that you don't even have to type anything out. It's just crazy how fast you can just spend 
30 bucks, but it takes you an hour maybe to make that 30 bucks, two hours to make that 30 bucks. And you don't even get all of that 30 bucks because taxes take so much of it away. Uh. <laughs> the seventh thing that I learned is that a lot of experiences and activities as you grow up start to blend into each other and seem like a lot of the same things. Yes, you might go to one sushi restaurant and then go try another one, but it starts to be very similar. Um, traveling maybe to Europe versus traveling to Canada, it starts to look very similar and you realize that you kind of just do the same things when you go to these places. Like there's only so much you can do. And I'm trying to not let this get too much into my head because I don't want it to seem like, okay, I've done everything now. Like what else is there? But I've just noticed that things are starting to be very similar from day to day and from place to place. As I grew up, I also learned that a lot can change in a year. I mean, this is just from me starting the year off and thinking, okay, like this is how my year is going to pan out. And like, it's going to be the same thing. And by December, I'm pretty much going to be the same person. And then I get hit by a truck and just everything else is different by the end of the year. I've started years dating one person, ending the year literally in disbelief that I dated that person. Crazy. And it's kind of cool that you really don't know what to expect. It's a good reminder that, yes, you can plan, but there's only so much that you can plan for. And you'll just possibly end up in a completely different place. The ninth thing that I learned is that you don't actually have to do anything anyone or any system tells you to do. But it's up to you whether or not you want to face those consequences with that decision that you make so in reality you do have a lot of control a lot more control than the world wants you to think you can just say yes or no and you can just decide not to do it and nobody can make you do anything the 10th thing that i learned is that this is not even research based but 90 percent, let's say of issues arguments are pretty much due to miscommunication or misunderstanding of what somebody says. I've listened to so many fights and arguments where at the end of the argument, people realize that it was just the way that they were explaining it and the other person was just getting offended because they misunderstood what was happening or the way that the person was phrasing their argument. And you waste a lot of time when you can't see eye to eye just because you're not communicating correctly. Sometimes people get passive aggressive or people just say things wrong or like come off wrong. Maybe take more consideration into how you're communicating things because maybe the reason why the other person isn't understanding where you're coming from is because you're not communicating it in a way that they can understand it. Okay, so this one's really... I don't know if anyone else has gone through this before or has had similar experiences but when i grew up my parents used to tell me to not turn on the light inside the car because it was bad like it was illegal like we couldn't do it and so i thought that for a really long time in my life until i realized i actually could it was just that they didn't want people to see into our cars at night so i learned that you can do that Okay, this one, I freaking wish someone had told me when I was younger. I'm annoyed that no one told me this, but your body goes through different phases throughout your life and it will change drastically. The most obvious one, when you're going from a kid to a teenager and you go through puberty. Okay, duh. But then there's another set of phases and one of them is in your early 20s late teens so like some people start early like 19 18 19 but there's like this shift that happens during that time where you go through another change in your body and you gain more weight and your eating habits change and your body habits change nobody told me this there's also one that comes up in late 20s where you just get extremely tired and you start noticing that exercise and moving your body around does take a toll 
I did not know this and I'm scared for it, but it's coming and it's just something that everyone goes through. But I wish people talked about it and let me know because I was freaking the fuck out and I was like, what is going on? Like, I've done everything the same way. Why is my body changing in this way? And I don't like the way it looks certain days and blah 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 and i just wish someone had told me that that's how it's supposed to be and that it's not my fault and that everyone is going through it so i could just freaking calm down the 13th thing that i learned is that people don't do bad things just because they want to or just because they feel like it it's always because there's some type of deeper reason even if they don't know it even if they're in denial, there's always something you can trace it back to. Like people know what they're doing when they're doing something, unless it's like an accident. The 14th thing that I learned is that telling someone to just be happy and to figure it out doesn't always work. And I used to be super naive because I was really, really lucky when I was young. I had a really good and safe upbringing. My parents did a really good job of sheltering me and I just got really lucky in my life where I didn't really go through too many tough things where I got tainted, I felt like. So I grew up very optimistic and very happy. Um, And so when I learned about people being depressed and things like that, I was so confused. I just couldn't compute it in my head. I couldn't fathom people just not being happy. And I was like, oh, well, why are they doing that to themselves? Like, just be happy. They obviously haven't tried telling themselves to be happier. Oh, my God. (laughs) I was so naive. I didn't know better. I know now. And I would never tell anybody to just be happy. But yeah, it's definitely something I had to learn as I grew up. And I could only learn really by getting a taste of it myself and realizing it's a lot more complex than that. And someone can put a smile on their face and feel good for even a day. But overall, they're not doing well. And finally, the last thing that I learned from growing up is that everyone has different starting points not everyone starts from the same place and it this one kind of is full circle because it does tie to the first thing that i said where your parents and the family members and the people that you are surrounded with majority of the time when you're born really play a huge part in how your life plays out this kind of matches and goes hand in hand with what i just mentioned where we're not all starting from the same place and some people start really from rock bottom all the way back 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 there and there's some people who get so freaking lucky and get placed really really far ahead and they can only go up from there i don't know what to do about it but i just learned that you know in a classroom when you're making all your friends and you're wondering why some people are weirder than others or some people are the way they are, it's because we all started from different places and come from different points of view. Yeah, and I think everyone should embrace that. It would be really boring if everyone was exactly the same. Thanks for making it this far. I appreciate whenever anyone listens to my podcast episodes and i know that everyone's time is precious so the fact that you're willing to take time to listen to me talk about random crap i really really appreciate it bye